If you enjoy the channel and don't want to miss a video, press the notification bell next to the subscribe button. Hey folks, Mobile Geezer here with this week's Geezer Bits for Sunday, February 18th. So today I'm shooting on the front facing camera of the Xiaomi Mi A1. So you guys let me know how everything looks and sounds. I don't have a whole lot of tech news this week, but I'll give you what I've got starting with the Sony Xperia XA2. Uh, for weeks they've been telling us the Sony Xperia XA2 and XA2 Ultra would be available to buy on February 16th, this past Friday, and that's one of the phones that I was interested in. So I looked at Best Buy, looked at Sony's website, and uh, first thing in the morning on Friday, and I kept getting on Sony's website coming soon, and on Best Buy it kind of looked like it was sold out, but it was hard to tell. So I went to work, came back that night and looked at Best Buy site. It was showing up for pre-order. So I decided finally to go out to Best Buy yesterday and see if I could find it in the stores. Seems like none of the Best Buy stores had it available. The Sony USA site was still showing it as up for pre-order or coming soon. And I know my Project 13 out in Portland, he had the same issue. He went to the store. They didn't have any. He finally ordered his in-store. I finally found Amazon had it. And both of us should be getting it on Wednesday the 21st. So I didn't think that was the most propitious way for Sony to launch a new product, especially when many of us were waiting to get our hands on it. Today it looks like you can order it from Best Buy and still order it from Amazon. I haven't checked the stores. So that was an interesting little adventure with the Sony Xperia XA2. Uh, next up, the Apple HomePod is still in the news and uh, lots and lots of reviews out now. Most saying that the sound is really, really good. Uh, some are saying it's better than the Sonos. Uh, just about everybody's saying it's better than Google Home. But it's still locked into Apple. Can't do anything but iTunes. Can't uh, stream Android to it or Spotify. So people are still very upset. Oh, and I noticed a little something between Google Home and Amazon yesterday. So I'll just show it to you in a quick little test. Alexa, turn on the downstairs lights. A few things share that name. Which one did you want? Alexa, stop. Hey Google, turn on the downstairs lights. Sure, turning on two lights. Hey Google, turn off the downstairs lights. Okay, turning two lights off. So it seems that in that lamp that's behind me, I have two different lights with two different names. One's called Downstairs Cree, one's called Downstairs GE. Alexa cannot differentiate the two when I say turn on the downstairs lights. Google Home can. I just thought that was a little bit interesting and maybe showing that Google Home in some ways is smarter than Alexa. So moving on, this week Xiaomi put out a poll comparing their skin, MIUI, to pure Android or the Android One phones. And uh, turns out Android won by quite a bit. So how did Xiaomi react to that? They just deleted the poll. Guess they didn't want it to come out that Android was more popular than their skin. Coincidentally, OnePlus also did basically the same poll comparing their Oxygen OS to Android. And again, Android won the poll. But to OnePlus's credit, 
they said thank you, and they're going to try to do better. So, it seems like OnePlus has come a long way in listening to their users. Xiaomi may have a little bit of work to do. Uh, the next thing I had is that there are many reports that social media growth is starting to slow down, particularly on Facebook. Seems like uh, people are less interested in using Facebook for news and more interested in using it for family and friend interaction. Seems that Mark Zuckerberg and Facebook are very aware of it and they're working hard to change that. And for my last little bit of personal news, this week we installed Google Wi-Fi, so I installed two Wi-Fi points, one here in this room where the Wi-Fi comes in, and another one two rooms away upstairs. I knew those two were all I would need due to the size of our house, and now coverage is a dream. I can even sit outside on the deck at the bottom of our stairs and get great coverage and great speeds. So I would highly recommend Google Wi-Fi for anyone who's having coverage issues. Anyway, that's all I have this week. As always, comments are welcome, and thanks for watching.